We back, we back. The other one saved, so shout out to Instagram. Blessings, guys. Thank you for rejoining. You already know I had to stop because the video stops or whatever. So, but we're going to continue this juicing party. I really hope that I brought some more light so y'all can see who you're talking to and <laughs> who's speaking to you. And I got to say, these tips have been really good. I even just me, like, reflecting on them. I'm like, damn, like, this would have made my juicing uh, journey a little smoother. Um, but you live, you learn, and I'm so, I'm so glad I get to share it with you guys. So because the more people juicing, the better this earth is going to be. That's really what it's about. We're gonna bring this earth up if we bring ourselves up individually. You know, we take the freaking reins and realize, yo, we have we're living life, and it's our job to take care of this vessel and this mind and this heart. Okay, so I do want to say I'm gonna continue on. We were just speaking about, well, I was just speaking about um, add-ons to your to your juices. Add on an extra boost, extra boost. You can get superfoods like spirulina or moringa powder, you know, and just add a scoop of a scoop of it. I have a 15, 20% off discount on uh, sea moss and burdock root in my bio. So go ahead and check it out. If y'all need a little, a few dollars off of these supplements, you girl got you, yo, as long as we bringing everybody up, right? So yes, guys, I'm going to go ahead and continue on. You can add these supplements. I really, really highly suggest you guys go the extra mile and add these powders to your juices. You're just going to feel the effects of them much greater and much more profoundly right um i always keep sea moss around me if you are if you uh smoke cannabis all the time you gotta hydrate your lungs right or any kind of smoker you know hopefully you don't smoke cigarettes or tobacco but if you are into cannabis you gotta hydrate your lungs and a way to do that is most definitely with sea moss sea moss hydrates your lungs and gets that mucus out okay so let's you know we gotta be responsible we gotta take care of this vessel um i get a discount on sea moss in my link in bio also um uh hold on muller tea m-u-l-l-e-r-t is really good to humidify and moisten your lungs okay so i'm gonna go, probably end it with a few more tips and one more thing on regarding storing and storing juices so apart from making daily juices you guys can make juices for a week you could get a bunch of oranges and, and make a pitcher full of fresh OJ or a pitcher full of fresh carrot juice or a pitcher full of celery juice that you could use as a base for future juices. I also suggest if you're doing smoothies, you know, a lot of people are a big fan of nut milks. You know, I'm a fan of, you know, all these almond milks and all these um, plant milk, hemp milk, oat milk. But I do got to say, you get a lot out of out of it if instead of milks you use juice from your juicer so you know how you make smoothies you don't always got to make smoothies with almond milk you don't always got to make smoothies with coconut milk you can make smoothies with the juice that you juiced from your juicer so if you made a juice a carrot juice if you made an apple juice you know you can take that juice store it in your fridge and use that instead of always using coconut milk, almond milk. Now, I love that you're drinking nut milks instead of cow milk. But I gotta say, a lot of these milk contain a gum. And this gum, drink, it's a literally a, a gum that makes it more creamier. Like a lot, look it up, it, it'll say it's blah, 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 gum. It's a gum, and it's gummy. And that's what makes it creamy, you know, because if you make all natural cashew milk or you make all natural almond milk, it's not as creamy as the ones that come packaged up, right? So I got to say, if you make a lot of smoothies, I love smoothies, but just, you know, be careful with the amount of these milks that you use because a lot of the ones that are sold, not made from home, clearly, they have a gum and that gum creates mucus over time. It's a gum. It's just a gum that's very liquefied, right? 
So let's get a little aware of that and maybe we could just save ourselves the bullshit and use the juices that we made from the juicer. Because I, if you make a smoothie with the juice base, you could, plus you add on spirulina, you're going to become a superhero. I don't know how, but you're going to become a superhero because that's super potent. Um, yeah, so I always prefer juices over milk base. I mean, I, you know, great. I love, I just, you know what it is, guys? I drank the milk bases for so long. I had smoothies for like two years straight during my juice journey. And I just, I, my body was like, you're drinking too much, too much almond milk, too much soy milk. There's a lot of gum in this. Why not replace it with fresh carrot juice as the base? You know, fresh orange juice as the base, right? Fresh water, even just water. Um... If you, okay, another thing, if you feel called, like, oh my God, can I juice, my brother asked me the other day, can I juice garlic, right? <laughs> my brother's funny, but, but I'm like, if you feel called towards that, do it, you know? If it, felt, it feels a little funny, if you could juice it, do it. Maybe your body is telling you, you need something from that veggie that you need it. Our body knows more than we do, and it just tells us through our subconscious, and then we're like, should I do this? And it's like, yes, your body has been begging for it. There was, this is one of my favorite stories. There was a, this is a real story. A man was lost at sea. He was in the ocean. He was lost. He was lost on a fucking boat. And this is real. Look it up. For like 80 days. I think it was 80 something days. So like almost like two months, three months. And he would survive off fish. He would just try to grab whatever fish he could and he would just eat it. And it came throughout his fish eating journey. He never ate the fish eyes because he was grossed out by them. He didn't like the fish eyes. But halfway through being stranded in the sea, he would catch the fish. And the first thing he started eating was the fish eyes. He was craving it. He wanted to dig into the fish eyes. When they found him, they found that his body was deficient in a vitamin that was only found in the fish eyes. So when they did analysis, the doctors checked his body. His body was deficient in, I don't know what, I forgot what vitamin, that is super potent in fish eye. So this man got this random craving for fish eyes while he was stranded in sea dying. And it's because his body told him. Our body knows. Our body knows and it tells us. We just got to listen, you know. So with that's going with this whole journey of juicing and everything. Your body been telling you for a minute because you got to do it. It told me back in 2014. Um, begin. Okay, so I did. Speaking of my beginning of my journey, I did begin by juicing very sweet juices because my body was composed of high acidic, high flavored things. That oh my god, people I must be looking at me through my window <laughs> doing this live. My body was composed of high acidic, high flavored things. So I began making juices that were very juicy, very fruity, you know, like that's how I weaned my life into juicing. My body was just used to like all these high flavored foods, you know, that are not all natural that it, it might like I had to measure up to that. So I got to say, it's OK if you start juicing like. Hold up. It's okay if you start juicing juicy juices. Like, it's, it's, that's how I started. I start, it's not the best because there's a lot of sugar and we want you guys to get into the, the veggies. That's the magic, right? Um, well, the both, the marriage of the juices, of the fruits and veggies. But I gotta say, if this is how you're weaning into it, if this is how you're starting your juice journey and it's with like a bunch of berries and bananas and mangoes, then do it. Do it, do it. Wean your life into it. Wean your mind into it, right? Don't, don't question it. Don't feel guilty about it. And take it step by step. So with that being said, we're going to move on. I did, I did say that I began by juicing some pretty ju sweet juices that probably to this day I wouldn't even drink anymore. Because my body is now programmed to be more towards the leafy greens, which is what we, where we're trying to get. You will be peeing a lot more if you start juicing. I got to tell you this. You're going you're gonna to use the potty more. Especially in the beginning. In the beginning, when you start juicing, you start peeing a lot more frequently than later in your journey. So if you've been juicing like the first six months, first five months, 
you're gonna pee more then than you will the first two years like two years later two years later your body's already gonna get used to it's gonna get already to a point where it doesn't have to be flushing out all these things and you're still gonna pee a lot more than you were before juicing but in the beginning of the purge and the detoxifying it's definitely a lot of peeing just got but it feels good guys it feels good you're, you're letting go i see pee as old energy too not just your toxins but it's your old energy you know that's why when you wake up you pee right away it's the energy from yesterday leaving your body so these foods are just flushing you out um like i said in the beginning of this live get a routine and stick to it i i said five days a week stuff those are going to be Monday through Friday, or if you miss a day, you make it up on the weekend. I don't do more than five days a week. I do juice five days a week, maybe four, but four is the minimum I'll do. There are people that have coffee seven days a week, so I don't think this is that crazy. You know, maybe the little effort to make it is the only difference, and of course, the benefits I get, but I juice, and I've been juicing five days a week, four to five days a week. If I travel, I make sure to get my juice. I think the only time I wasn't juicing for a long period of time was when I went to Cuba. And even then, I made sure to get like an orange juice. That's still juicing. You don't got to make a fancy juice every time. You just got to make sure that you're circulating solar power energy. When I went to Cuba, it was a little harder. If you've ever been to Cuba, it's like, it, it's, it's like going back into back in time shit is a whole different world so juicing is the luxury od over there so um but you're still able to get you know fruit and veggies as long as you circulate that solar power energy right um and one more tip get recipe ideas from juice bars go to a juice bar go to their website because they've been doing it a long time and they and their juices taste great I always go into a juice bar and take a picture of their menu and then I go buy those ingredients, okay? It might not come out exactly like them, but it gets my brain going into the flavors I like. Once you start to get to know the flavors of what you enjoy, you're going to come up with recipes all on your own. Remember what I said about the basis to always maintain in your house. Always keep five pounds of oranges, four pounds, keep those in pounds, four pounds of apples. These are the bases. And as for the veggies, always keep bunches of kale and bunches of spinach, like I said, and bunches of carrots. Those are the bases. One bunch equals two juices. Always see it as that. One bunch is two juices. Maybe one juice. That's maybe two juices if you use the trick I told you about, about flushing the water as you juice. Juice. Okay, guys, and yes, that, that, that concludes my tips on juicing. I went like an hour and a half, maybe two hours now and i'm happy to okay a lot of tips i went through um i so just in case you're just tuning in and when it, the, regarding this juice live i gave my anecdote i began with my anecdote on why i juice how i juice when i got into it what got me into it how i started and how often i juice and why i then spoke about the kind of juicer to get what kind of juicers are there what would fit my budget what would fit my home what would fit me I also spoke about cleaning tips. Cleaning is the most annoying part of this whole thing, but it does get easier with tips that you learn along the way that I learned the hard way, but I'm here to share with you so you don't gotta learn the hard way. I gave those cleaning tips. I compared juices versus smoothies. We have juices that do this and smoothies that do that. We have the pros of juicing, the pros of smoothies, the cons of juicing, the cons of smoothies. I gave you guys all information on that. I also talked about how to store all of your fruits and veggies because this is a huge part of the juicing thing. How to store them will de uh, determine the longevity of your fruits and veggies, okay? So make sure the storage is on point. If not, you're gonna be buying shit, it's gonna rot and you're never gonna use it. You want it to last. You want it to not just last, but maintain its freshness So, because that's what you're eating. Um, I spoke about how to clean your veggies or, and clean your fruit, how to store them, what goes where. How many veggies to buy? How many veggies to use in a juice? I gave you guys ratios and comparisons. I told you guys about the main fruits you got to always keep in your home and the main veggies you got to always keep in your home to make sure you got a juice no matter what. And I also spoke about the add-ons, the extra fruit and cool fruit, cool veggies you could add on to make the juice either taste better or be more nutritious for you. 
And I spoke about extra add-ons such as sea moss and spirulina and moringa powder and maca powder and all of these things that are like superfoods. They're literally considered superfoods that you could just add a tablespoon of. A tablespoon of spirulina has more um, iron and protein than a seven ounce steak. One tablespoon. Add that to your juice. Okay. Sea moss. I have a discount on my bio link again i have an a discount on my bio link you could get a discount on cmos to add to your juice you could also get a discount i believe on burdock root which i gave y'all examples um i also talked about the kind of juices you could store you could make fresh orange juice fresh carrot juice and just keep it in the fridge that lasts about four to five days i want to say about five days that's if you don't drink it by then because it's delicious maybe a week but you could just make a bunch of orange juice and keep it in the fridge or use it for future juices, you know? Um, I spoke about if you make smoothies, it's kind of, you're going to be make, using a lot of almond milk, a lot of nut milk. Stay away from the milks. Not so much milk. Use water instead to make your smoothies. They will still come out nice and yummy if you add bananas. They come out like a, a smoothie regardless. I also suggested you use the bases, the ju juices you juiced as a substitute for your almond milk and your hemp and your coconut milk because that it's a shab it's a shebang when you do guys it's amazing i also mentioned you will be peeing a lot it is what it is in the beginning the pee does come a little less it also depends on the potency of the juice if it's a very strong juice it will have you peeing quite a bit but then that peeing is flushing out old energy um and again Make a routine out of it. Make a routine out of it. You have a routine for other things. Make a routine out of it. Say every weekday. Every weekday, I'm going to have a juice. Or every other day. Or I'm going to make sure I have it four days a week. Or I'm going to have it every weekend until Wednesday. And then, you know, whatever works for you. For me, it was like weekday. Monday through Friday, a juice. Period. You know? If I miss a day, I'll drink it on the weekend. Okay? That worked for me. And, and it still works because I'm still going. I, I literally drink juices four to five times a week period i don't go more than that though because i like to let my body kind of beat sometimes and last but not least get recipe ideas apart from the bases i told you about oh get recipe ideas from juice bars and also juice by color juicing by color is a lot of fun i'm gonna read all these comments in a bit juicing by color is great like one day you could be like, today I'm making an all yellow juice and use all yellow ingredients or yellowy ingredients. Today I'm making a green juice. I'm using all green ingredients. Today I'm making an all or uh, uh, orange juice. Today I'm making a purple juice and use blueberries and blackberries and, and leafy greens, you know. You juice by color. It's really fun. I love juicing by color um, because I think it hits other parts of your chakra, like you make a blue juice with a lot of blueberries and leafy greens, it's going to hit right here. If you make a ginger with orange and carrot juice, it's going to hit right here. You know, so a really green juice will open your heart chakra. So juicing by color, guys, juicing by color is easy too. Like, you don't got to think of a recipe, just juice by color. What colors are all the veggies? Okay, these are all the colors I'm going to use, right? So those are my tips, y'all. It's, it's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure. Um, I'm going to read these comments. Because I know you guys got questions in the comments. There's quite a bit of comments. I got to scroll all the way up. Okay, guys. Thank you for joining. I don't even got to talk about the benefits of juicing. I don't want to talk about the benefits. I told you the how to's. The benefits, you're going to thank me later. Number one is mood. That's my favorite benefit. What's the best almond brand you like? Almond milk? I like Trader Joe's, but I, like I said, I'm trying my best to stay away from nut milks. I drank too much nut milks for two years. I drank a lot of coconut milk, a lot of almond milk, and my body kind of told me, chill out with the gum. You could use fresh water as a replacement. You could, because you're still drinking almond milk and stuff with cereal and with other things. So it's like, plus your smoothies. It's a lot of that gum, okay? And they have these, these almond milk makers that I'm going to invest in one day. Yes, you've seen the gum in the milk. Y'all seen it. Thank you, guys. Save ourselves from the bullshit. Hey, V. <laughs> Cutie. Um, does it matter what time of day you juice? Oh, great question. 
I can't juice morning because of noise and time. It's an evening thing for me. Okay, that's a great question. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm so sorry to hear that, but me, I've always juiced first thing a.m. First thing a.m. I have. If it's if it's un if you unfortunately cannot do that, you may also make the juice the day before. They will last freshness wise. Oh my God, what the fuck is that, guys? It's like a. <laughs> What the fuck is that? <laughs> I got interrupted by this. It's a beautiful, I think it's like a beetle <laughs> on my window. It's green. It's super green. I'm kind of kind of shook, but it's it's really pretty. I think it's more scared of me than I'm scared of it. It's beautiful. Where the heck did it come from? I want to show y'all. Okay. <laughs> that was out of nowhere. It's a bright green beautiful bug but it's like it has a shell are you the juice bug so does it matter what time of day i think i think you can even make it the day before it really doesn't matter guys but i do gotta oh my god it's beautiful that's sorry y'all this beautiful green beetle bug is, is on my window and it came out of nowhere and it, it's like i'm just like intrigued it's really gorgeous it looks like a a charm I, i'm gonna try to show y'all but i don't want to scare it it's gonna start flying and shit it's trying to get out <laughs> kelly kelly life but i do gotta say with the with juicing at certain time juices give you energy juices give you energy like my juice is my coffee like I love my juicing because I feel like so alive when I have it, guys. Like, you really will, it's like an energy drink. So, I gotta say, if you do do it um, in the evening, you might get a little bit of an energy boost. I have had juices in the evening and it's fine. It's not an energy like, like you don't know what to do with yourself, like with coffee. Like, with coffee, you're jittery and you're like, oh my God, what do I do with all this energy? It's more like you wanna do something. It's more like you have a creative energy. You know, you're like, I want to do something. Not like, I have to do something. So those are two different energy boosts between coffee and juicing. Um, so whenever time of day, I do got to say, if I had a preference, it's during the day, it's the first thing in the morning. But I completely understand if you can't. It doesn't mean you can't do it any other time. The only reason I prefer so early is because it gives me a really big energy boost. That clearly carries on. Let me see. Eat, drink, food intuitively. Yes, I've read about it. Body cravings. Mm hmm Better than coffee seven days a week. Expand your palate, guys. Oh! <laughs> Where'd you go, little guy? My poor baby. It wants to leave so bad. And my window's it's open, but it's only a little open. All right, let's see what else. I'm going to have to look up the spiritual meaning of a green beetle or like a green. It's like a beautiful green bug. It has a shell because the juicing versus eating it. Um, I love eating fruits and veggies, y'all. But yes, you can freeze juices for sure. Um, you could. I've definitely done it. I've done next day juices, but of course they taste better fresh. Doesn't mean you don't get the nutrients at all. You definitely do. You get all the benefits. It just tastes a little better fresh, but not even you mix it up. It still tastes fine because it does oxidize a little bit after a time, but you're still getting yours. OK, um, eating fruits and veggies. I mean, I would I would love to sit and eat a giant bowl of carrots and, and oranges, but sometimes it's just too it's just too inconvenient. Sometimes I just don't have the the desire to eat all of these fruits and veggies or the the energy or the the palate so juicing is a wonderful way to do that and it's one of my favorite things but of course if you you know well, the cool thing about juicing is it starts to open you up to want to eat those things raw which is great that's where you want to get to to eat like veggies and and fruits on the regular how many cups of juice would you say is a good day for you great question thank you so much me myself guys i drink 20 ounces a day that's just me i highly suggest 16 ounces and up 16 ounces and up don't do less than that you're gonna want to do more than that so i said <laughs> where'd the little guy go i suggest doing like i do 20 ounces a day or more 
And I only do 20 ounces because it's all the juice I could fit in my pitcher. <laughs> I think my, my, my pitcher is 22 ounces. I fill it to the top. I, today I even overflowed. But I used to only do like 16 ounces. 16 ounces is good. Start with 16 and go up. 16 ounces a day minimum. I weigh, you weigh 119. Oh! <laughs> oh my God, it's the green beetle. <laughs> Y'all yeah, open the door for the... <laughs> I'm open the door for you, little guy. <laughs> Guys, I'm cracking up at this. A little beetle came to say hi. <laughs> it's here. I'm going to get it on the paper and take it out. Poor baby. It's so scared. Come on. Get on this, little boy. I got you. I got you. Yes, boo. All right. I got it, guys. I did it. It's out. I should show you it. It's so cute. Y'all want to see it? Where you at? Hold up. Where'd it go? Oh, I see it. Oh, my gosh. It's so cute. Y'all going to see this guy. How do I flip it? Oh. Oh. How do I flip it? Oh. Look at that little monkey. <laughs> what the heck? He's like, why are you filming me? Oh, go away. <laughs> Yo, it's really playing with me right now. All right. But you got to go, bro. All right. I think it flew out. Get. Oh. <laughs> Yo, the little bug is interrupting the live. Okay. It's out, guys. It's gone. <laughs> It's gone. Where were we? <laughs> Y'all got to see all that. <laughs> Where were we? Yes, V. Going vegan almost five years ago, and I learned so much about my palate and still learning. It's such a fun experience. It's like you're 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 gifted like this new sense of of taste and flavor when you open your palate to these to this food this nutritional food you should have been eating a long time ago okay i thought it came back it didn't <laughs> let me see let me keep going if you are prone to diabetes and to be mindful of starchy fruits yes yes more veggies and some fruit most definitely um, in the beginning, it could be a little hard to be into just so many veggies because your taste buds are not used to it. But don't guilt yourself if you do incorporate quite a bit of fruity fruit, but don't stay there either. Don't stay there because you want to progress towards the leafy greens and working with both flavors. Coconut water. That would be a great replacement instead of the almond milk to use in smoothies. You could also um, juice coconuts, blend them. Oat milk I see, has the gum as well. Yes, guys, get into juicing. Um, a metallic beetle, I don't know what y'all saw. It. Avoid the store-bought milk, get a cheesecloth and clean. Yes, it, I mean, making things from scratch is the way to go. You know, that's that's the way to go. Like, I want to make my own almond milk. I want to make my own um, cashew milk. Show the beetle. I showed it. Let me see. Let me see. Good luck for bugs. Oh, guys, you're so cute. Oh. I have a little neighbor in the crib. That's his house now. That's in bounds. I'm just reading these comments now. You guys are hilarious. Yes, he does want his he did want his presence to be known. What in the hey? Oh, y'all saw y'all saw the green beetle. <laughs> it's gone now. It was in my face. It flew directly at my face. All right, like that's nice. I don't know what in the world. <laughs> But yes, guys, that is my juicing tips. I think I'm going to end it now. And I'm going to log back on. But I'm going to end it so that this could be the IG live for the juicing. And so I do have questions on my IG um, that I'm going to answer. 
and I'm gonna log back on and answer them. Hopefully, Mr. Greenbug isn't gonna come back. Um, but I hope I got to your juicing questions. Any more juicing questions? Actually, I'm taking five minutes right now. Any juicing questions that I didn't touch upon? Anything at all? I'll uh, answer it right now in the chat. Oh, the the, the spiritual awakening. I, I did mention how if you begin juicing, this can most definitely lead you to a spiritual awakening because your body is transforming. So it's becoming more receptive to spiritual guidance. You're detoxifying it from all the things that block you from grabbing that spiritual guidance, right? That little beetle had me dying, guys. I'm still thinking about it. Um, any more, any more questions? Um, how do you know when you, what part of a spiritual awakening you're on? I feel like it's a, it's an unfolding journey and you only know when you look back. That's what I've learned. Um, the dots, connecting the dots, you never know what it's going to make when you connect the dots. They only make sense when you look back, when you've connected them, right? But I do want to say in the beginning of most spiritual journeys, it's a lot of detox. So if you're in a part of your life where you are letting go of people, letting go of old habits, letting go of old perspectives and things like that, then you are truly in the beginning stages of discovering a new you, you know, because you are making room for that new you. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to end. Any more questions on juicing? Please send them here. If you have any now, if not, then I, I guess I wrapped it up and I touched upon everything. And I should with an hour and a half. Well, bless you guys. Thank you for that time. Um, get into it. Get into it. Um, it's not hard because you've developed other routines. You've developed other customs so let's take the reins and some healthier ones you know i i gotta tell you i i've been juicing for a long time now six years i want to keep going and i work two jobs you know i don't have kids but i am a pretty busy individual and i make it my effort to keep myself first and well maintained because if you're the fountain like, what are you giving out? You're the fountain. You cannot pour from an empty cup. You always got to make sure the fountain is good, okay? And good in the right ways. We got to make sure we are teaching our body the right cravings, okay? Because those cravings are going to are gonna speak the narrative. Oh, my God. This little motherfucker's in here again. Yes, he is. It's crazy. Ugh. <sighs> God, so annoying. Get out. <laughs> uh, he's back. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get to this. Hold up. <laughs> he don't even want to leave. I don't think he wants to leave. Get out. I'm gonna get it with a paper again. Come here, little guy. Goodbye. All right, now it's officially out. <laughs> I saw it fly away. Oh, bless you guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let me see. God, it's alert. You guys are so sweet. Thank you. But oh, I'm so happy, guys. <sighs> he has a message for us, guys. He didn't leave until right now, until the end. He didn't leave us for right. You guys are hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> guys and he was all green like a green juice he was all green like a green juice and he left right when i'm finishing my live that was cute i'm gonna look up what the omen means thank you guys my love to you get into juicing i might come back in a bit maybe to talk about some of these questions i got in my inbox which i would love to address them actually so send you guys my love and light i'm probably just gonna get a snack and y'all gonna get some more of this in a bit